Hi, I'm John McGivern. We are in front of St. Margaret Mary Church. I'm here to tell you to come join me September 26th for an evening of stories about growing up Catholic, about growing up in this city that we all call home, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, about growing up in a big Irish Catholic family. Great stories at a great church. Just so you know, this was not my parish, but my niece and nephew went to this school, so it's almost like coming home. I'm John McGivern. We'll see you on September 26th, 6.30. Don't miss it, okay? It's great to be here at St. Margaret Mary. I'm from the east side of Milwaukee. Yeah, when I tell people I'm from the east side, they usually say, oh. And I always say, no. Why? Because I was raised closer to the river than I was to the lake in the city of Milwaukee. Milwaukee. What other city in the world could I have grown up in where the Wasilewskis lived across the street from the Jezusheks, who lived around the corner from the Randalls, who lived right next door to the Sekolinskis, who lived next door to the Doolins, who lived next door to the Levies, who lived right next door to the McGiverns. It was this Eastern European, German, Polish, Irish, Italian, Jewish neighborhood where any moment in the summer I could run outside and there'd be 30 kids to play with. I got my butt kicked every 10 minutes. Lots of kids in my neighborhood. That's a little bit of a story that I'll tell you, September 26th, 6.30 here at St. Margaret Mary. Come join me. I'm John McGivern. We'll see you. I'm in the gym at St. Margaret Mary Parish. It's great because I talk a lot about in my show about um, the boys in our, in our neighborhood and the boys in my family, that they were the sportiest boys you'd ever want to meet. They loved basketballs, they loved footballs, they loved baseballs, they loved softballs, they loved the rubber balls, they loved the super balls, they loved the bowling balls, they loved the soccer balls. Go ahead, give the boys a ball. I was on the basketball team, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth grade at St. Peter and Paul grade school on the corner of Bradford and Kramer on the east side. In four years, I made four points. That's two baskets. And I did it underhand. The gym intimidates me. Come see me, September 26th, St. Margaret Mary, 6.30. Stories full of all of our lives. I'm John McGivern, we'll see you there. I'm sitting on the steps at St. Margaret Mary School. Junior high is that way. K through four is this way. I'm right in the middle. I've got this uh, trilogy, the story of parochial school, first grade, fourth grade, eighth grade, that I'll be sharing with you that night, September 26th, 6.30. Come join me, St. Margaret Mary. I'm John McGivern. We'll have a great time. Hi, it's John McGivern. I am at the Parish Center at St. Margaret Mary. I'm in the kitchen area. I was raised in an Irish Catholic family. I was raised by a woman who, when, until I was 14, I didn't know that food could be prepared any other way than boiled. We only had boiled food as a child. We'd have to sit at a table in our kitchen, six kids, a mom and a dad, where we ate meat, potatoes, vegetables, all boiled, a piece of crappy white bread and a half a glass of milk. And by 5.15, one of the kids would say, Dad, can we have some more milk? And my dad would say, no. We're poor, but Dad, don't we live in America's Dairyland? We must be really poor. We knew that if my father got up from the table before the dishes were cleared, before the plates were cleared, that we were in store for dessert, he'd go into that cabinet underneath the sink and he'd grab a big brown bag and out of that bag he would dig out half windmill cookies from Johnston Cookie Company. Oh, those were good. The same cookies that my mother would wrap in wax paper and put into our bag lunches to go to Catholic school Monday through Friday. Boiled food, half windmill cookies, parochial school stories. I'm John McGivern. Join me September 26th, 6.30, St. Margaret Mary. We'll see you.